Welcome to The Data Janitor. I'm Mike West, and thanks for joining me. Let's call this video if you worked in the real world and knew what you were doing. Let's cover a few things you might not know about real-world machine learning. If you worked in the real world, you know exactly what model to use for a given problem. Why? Because modeling competitions like Kaggle have given us the answer. For example, if you work with structured data, you'd be using gradient boosters because they've won almost every structured data competition in existence. The no free lunch theorem is great for academics, but that's where it belongs, not in the real world. If you worked in the real world, you'd know that the majority of your job as a machine learning engineer is data cleansing and not modeling. Every single study and survey for those working in the real world said the same thing. Most of their work is data cleansing. If you worked in the real world, you'd know the only math you use every day is applied statistics. If your job is mostly data cleansing, then a simple deduction should tell you that applying statistical techniques to your data is what you'd spend most of your time doing. If you don't feed the model the cleanest data possible, then the performance of your model is going to suck. If you worked in the real world, you'd know we don't place much value on college degrees. After 30 years of experience and civil work in the top tech companies, no one has ever asked me about my education. Not once. They are concerned with my skills and my experience. If you have knowledge and experience, you're going to get hired. If you worked in the real world, you know that modeling is a very small part of the job. You know that modeling has become the easy part because of model democratization and automation. For example, if I have a classification or regression problem, the two top problems in the world, once the data has been properly cleansed, I can upload that data set to AutoML tables and model it in under an hour or so. Not only that, no one on earth is going to beat the performance of that model. If you worked in the real world, you know that you aren't going to code or author any machine learning models. Companies aren't hiring you to write models that exist already. They're hiring you to build models from well-vetted frameworks. Let's be honest with each other. There are very few people on Earth that have the math and programming skills to author the most basic machine learning model. If you worked in the real world, you know that deep learning is a small part of applied machine learning. The two most common problems in the real world are classification and regression on structured data, and the top model class for these are gradient boosters. If you worked in the real world, you'd know that all the top tech companies use one language for all their machine learning problems. You'd know that Python has become the gold standard in applied machine learning, and nothing else is in second place. If you worked in the real world, you'd know that the top job in all of AI is the machine learning engineer. We don't need more data scientists. We need skilled data professionals that can understand and work the entire machine learning pipeline, not just one facet of it. If you worked in the real world, you'd know that the top skill for a machine learning engineer is SQL. If you knew that most of your work was data sourcing and data cleansing, then you'd understand why SQL was so important. If you worked in the real world, you'd be subscribed to the Data Janitor channel. You'd know that this grumpy old bastard is the only one telling you the truth about applied machine learning. Psst, that means subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. We'll see you soon.